Alexa, what's the notification? One new notification. From Notify Me. Someone opened the front door. It was opened at March 26, 2019 at 9 p.m. Zachriel just started a live stream, currently with 503 viewers. One new notification from Notify Me. Vintage Syntonics Rum Stereo Pro Drum Machine was just listed on eBay. The buy it now price is £69.99. One new notification. Your phone has a notification from the WhatsApp application. It reads, you're the bestest boyfriend in the whole wide world. Romantic face, romantic face, romantic face, romantic face, romantic face. Paul Hibbert just uploaded a new video called best video in the world ever and I'm totally not joking. He's my favorite YouTuber. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all of that just happened with one device, she that no. shall not be named. This is all done via if this then that. If you don't know what if this then that is, then here's me telling you again. If this then that is technology that lives out there on the internet, and it listens to things and then does things. It's as simple as that. You could connect your Nest thermostat to if this then that, and your Philips Hue hub to if this then that, and then make it so that if your house drops below a certain temperature, it changes your Philips Hue lamps to blue. Uh, if you're a weirdo, don't do that. There are some people already leaving this video going, I just went an Alexa skill! There isn't an Alexa skill, get over it. This will take five minutes, I promise, start the clock. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is install if this then that to your mobile phone. Uh, this is so that we can configure our recipe. And for today's example, we're gonna use Paul Hibbert has uploaded a YouTube video as our trigger. Don't know why I picked that, don't know why I picked that. For the that part of the recipe, we're going to use a service called Webhooks. And all Webhooks does is visits a particular website address and says, Hey website address, I need you to do something now. Uh, and that website address in turn is going to send a notification to Alexa to get her to say something. Just to confuse things, we actually need to start at the very end of this so we can generate an address that will be used by Webhooks so we can work our way backwards. So the first thing you're going to do is open up the Alexa app and we're going to enable the skill that makes all this possible. If you go into the menu and then skills and games, you just search for the notify me skill in here. Notify me. And just to be annoying, there are two of them. You need to pick the top one here, notify me. It's got the funny little blue thing with a yellow bell. Uh, if you press enable to use, it should ask you if you are going to allow permissions so that it can do everything it needs to do. It needs to obviously be able to access Alexa notifications, otherwise, why are we doing this? Tick that box and press save settings and the skill will enable. The first thing you will need to do before that will happen though is to log in uh, using the address of your Alexa account. And that is the skill enabled. Alexa, open Notify Me. Welcome to Notify Me. The skill would let you send notifications to your account through a simple Alexa API. An access code, along with instructions on how to send notifications, has been emailed to testbed at paulhibbert.co.uk. You will have now received an email from the wonderful people that created this skill. If you open that up, you'll find you have a very lengthy, personalized access code. This is yours. You need to copy yours. Don't sit typing mine out. Copy yours from your email uh, and put it in a notepad file. Uh, I would recommend using the template I've created. It is in the pinned comment below. Uh, and all you need to do is swap out the bit here where I've written stick your access code here with your access code. So I'm going to delete out stick your access code here and paste in instead my access code. It should start with uh, quotation marks and end with quotation marks. So that is our complete body and it's now ready to be placed into our if this then that recipe. We're now going to create the if trigger. So if you open up if this then that on your mobile or whatever device you're using uh, and go into the apps section bottom right and press the plus button because we're going to start creating an app, obviously. Uh, if you press the plus where it says this, 
This is where we're gonna search for the thing that you want to trigger it. So I'm gonna search for YouTube because I want it to be YouTube that triggers this event. Uh, then you have the choice of what it is that's actually gonna create this series of events. And I want it to be a new pub public video from subscriptions. It now says, I don't know who the hell you are. Tell me who the hell you are, please. I need to connect my YouTube account. So I'm going to sign in to my YouTube account. I'm going to allow permissions. And then it says, who do you want it to be that uploads a video? And I've only got the option of Paul Hibbert, because he's the only person I'm subscribed to, because he's super cool. And then I'm going to press create trigger. And that is the if portion set up. So we're now going to create the that portion. So if I press the plus next to that, uh, we need to search for webhooks because it is the webhooks service that we're going to use in order to make this a reality. It says make a web request, that's the only thing you can do. And it says, I don't know who you are either. So press connect and it will connect webhooks to your account. Because webhooks is an internal if this then that thing, you don't have to log into anything. It now asks you to fill out the information that is going to be sent to your personalized website to make the notification get sent to she that should not be named. So these are the things I've given you in the template. Fill them out. The URL is always the same, whether it's you, me, or somebody else, it is always at that URL there. The method is post. The content type is application forward slash Jason, whoever Jason is, my friend. <laughs> body is the body that we created containing your personalized access code. So we need all of this information here from the curly bracket to the curly bracket. Copy. Paste. You need to scroll all the way back to the beginning because we want to actually make some changes to this. This is actually easier to do on a PC, I have to admit, uh, but it's not quite so easy for me to film. Okay. So I've entered in here, the notification is going to be someone set us up the bomb because I'm a person of a certain age and still find that funny. Uh, delete out someone set us up the bomb. So you've just got your two quotation marks either side. And the thing that you put between the quotation marks is the thing that she will say. Uh, I want it to say a couple of things. I want it to say, uh, and I'm going to press add ingredient here. The author name, and you can see you've got a little block there, uploaded a video. And that will say Paul Hibbert uploaded a video. And you could add another ingredient if you wanted to, to say a title. So you could say, I don't know, put in here, Uploaded a video called Add Ingredient and then the title uh, Ingredient and then that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. I'm going to press Create Action and press Finish. So I'm just going to press it back and you can see I've got uh, a recipe now that says if a new public video from Paul Hibbert appears then make a web request via webhooks to a specific website address. If I press the little cog at the top, I can actually have a closer look at that. And I can see my uh, URLs and my bodies and all of the things we just created and we can edit them if need be. So if you feel like you've gone wrong somewhere, just come back in here, have another look, wipe it all out, start again if you need to, press the save button and that should be it. Almost forgot to mention, and this might have been annoying for you, uh, if you scroll right to the top, you've got like a little tick box here that says receive notifications when this applet runs. That doesn't mean to she that should not be named, that actually means you'll get a drop down message on your mobile phone, which might get annoying if it's ticked. Uh, if you want that to happen, leave it ticked. If you don't want that to happen, untick it and then press save. That's it. Uh, if you wanted to do more than one particular YouTuber, you would just repeat exactly the same process. But as the trigger, instead of choosing Paul Hibbert, you would choose somebody else at that point, And it would do exactly the same thing for a different YouTuber as well as Paul Hibbert. If you wanted to do this for your Nest Cam, you would just replace the YouTube trigger with your Nest Cam instead. And then pick your ingredients along the way in exactly the same way as you did for this one. Experiment, throw as many of these things into the mix as you like, and you will build up a much better relationship with Alexa, which is a pretty weird thing to do. Don't make relationships with robots, that's strange. Let me know in the comments what you're using this for because I want some more ideas for me, please. Uh, that's it for this week. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, 
hit that subscribe button, come hang out with me at these places as usual, and if you want to make these videos a possibility, like these awesome people, you can do so at either Patreon or PayPal, and I'll see you next time. Um, and then, yeah, we could you you <laughs> that specifically we are on your mobile phone or wherever it was Jesus, I can't say other than that. Perhaps I shouldn't have got drunk before I started. <laughs>